starting. What's going on, everyone out there in Facebook land? Ladies, I want to uh, thank you all for joining me. Um, if you didn't get to see, we got like a long combination we're going to do. Um, I'm going to break this down for uh, solo and if you have a partner. So if you're doing a solo right now, don't worry about it. You'll be able to get through it. But whenever you get a partner, you'll be able to go back to this video and then do the drills with someone actually swinging at you. So it's going to be a good time. It'll be a good time. Um, if you have a jump rope, grab a jump rope. If you don't, remember, you can do the uh, air rope. You can do jumping jacks. You can do uh, the grapevine thing in the middle. So we got thick rope, grapevine, jumping jacks, and jumping one. So once you hit a clock, you can begin. Grab your ropes if you have a rope. All right. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Backwards. Close down. Are you warm now? My toes are still very cold. <laughs> All right. Okay, in and out. Okay. You put your uh, rope to the side if you are using a rope. Now, we get into the combo. So the first thing we're going to focus on is throwing your jab, and then you're going to uh, use the pull. Okay, you're going to use the pull. Now. You guys, we're going to pull on a pull. We want to go straight back, okay? So we want to pull straight back. We want to pull to the back outside piece of your right knee, okay? We want to pull to the side where you have good base, good balance. So we're going to pull back, okay? Um, I guess just think about Fat Joe, okay? Fat Joe, lean back video. Yeah, so that straight back is just to use that to the side, here, okay? Move out a little bit more. Here, we pull back and lean to the rear side of my right. <clears throat> so, the thing is, when we do this, we want to uh, throw the jab so that we can, can do that easily. So, I don't want to overcommit on the jab, so I wouldn't want to do this and move forward with my head going far forward. So, I'm not worried about the power right now. I'm looking for that uh, reaction from them. So, when I throw the jab, I'm going to stay nice and tall. Nice and tall. And then from there, I'm going to pull back to the right. So you're going to jab, stay tall, pull back to your right. That's going to set up a cross. Look, cross. Well, so you can see my head. So I'm going to pull away. Use that momentum. Cross, hook, cross. Everybody go with that. So we got jab, pull, cross, hook, cross. Now, before we actually go on the bell, I'm going to demonstrate with Coach Trina, and then I will do it uh, in the air for you. Then we'll go from there. All right, one second. Good luck. Okay. Okay. I haven't put gloves on in months. <laughs> it feels uh, good. The first time I put them on, I, it felt weird. It was like, oh, is this tight? <laughs> okay. Can you guys see me good? Sounds good. good. Yeah. All right. So now, I'm going to hold first. Go, no, Coach Trina. Now, if you're with a partner, if you're with a partner, I want you to, uh, you're going to catch on the opposite side, or I say same side. So normally, we catch left to left or right to right, depending on which stance they're in. Right now, we're going to catch on the same side. So if your partner is orthodox, which is the uh, jab hand is the left, you're going to use your right hand to catch. So that way, you can throw back a little quicker. If they are southpaw, you're going to use your left hand. Okay? Your left hand. So same side. All right, so now, so she's going to throw her jab to my right hand. I'm going to throw a jab back at her face. She's going to pull and come back with the cross, with the cross. I will pause from there. So one side is going to go for one minute, and then the other side is going to go for the second minute. All right, I'll set the clock up. On the bell, you will switch if you have a partner. If you are solo, you have the option to keep going, push yourself harder, or you can wait. All right, let's go for it. One partner goes. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure you're breathing. Well, you can't breathe now, if you have space to move around, try to move around. I want you guys to see me, so I'm going to stay put.
All right, switch jobs. No part of switch. Now, another thing you can do if you're solo, you can switch stances. You can try from the opposite stance. Second time. All right, so now before we move on, is there any questions, concerns? When you do the pullback, what are you doing with your lead hand? Now, uh, right now you can do like whatever you want, but basically it depends on uh, your opponent. So if your opponent is a lot faster than you, then you might want to keep that hand up when you pull. So you want to make sure it comes straight out and then back to your face as you move back. Now. If you want to make sure that you're not getting uh, any type of contact, taking any type of contact while you're pulling, then you want to go with the drop. So, but right here, when I pull, I'll drop the hand down my lead side. Now you can do it straight down or you can do it across your body. So straight down or across the belly, kind of roll your shoulder. So it really depends on, if you, if so basically, if you do it the first time and they make contact on your glove and you felt like you couldn't recover as good, then you might want to uh, get it out the way. So you put it down. So it really depends on how fast your opponent is or if you want that extra bit of insurance. Thank you. Everybody else is good? Yep. All right. Now, next part. After that cross across, they're going to say your opponent is going to throw a lead hook at you this time. Okay? So now, uh, the first two combinations are going to be the same. You got cross across off the pole, and then after you roll, you're going to have cross across off of that too. So I'm going to air first time. I'm going to be here. I'm going to throw my jab. I'm going to pull. I come back with the cross, hook, cross. If I throw a cross last, that means I'm still kind of exposed on that side. So they're going to throw a hook, they knock my head off, I'm going to duck under with the roll, and they come back with the cross, hook, cross again. Okay, so we jab, we pull. Cross, hook, cross, to roll. Come back with the cross, hook, cross. Now, one thing, uh, I was doing this uh, before, or drilling it, and one thing I see a partner running into is on the roll, okay? When you roll, make sure um, you get used to pulling your shoulder back when you do this. So from here, last time we roll, we'll roll down, and then we come like this, so your shoulders are square facing your opponent. So I wanna make sure I roll, and then I'm bladed on my way up, and now I get the uh, full turn, full rotation into that cross. So when you pull back, your rear shoulder should be back, and then you get the twist and put your whole rear side into that strike, okay? Um, go from standing, so up here, I duck under. If I come up like this, this is a no-no. If I'm square, I'm gonna force this strike, over commit, and put myself in a bad spot. So I want to rotate. Pull back here, so I'm just looking at my opponent mostly out of my lead eye. So my left eye, I see my target, and now I get to rotate into the strike. Is everyone good or not? Burn. Okay. I'm going to reset the clock. Same layout. Go for it. Pull, cross, cross, roll, cross, cross. Do it again. Yeah, pull, cross and cross, roll, cross and cross. Let's make sure you're free. Make sure you're free. Let's make sure you're staying nice and relaxed. Make sure you're like, want to be smooth, want to be smooth. Partner goes, switch jobs, you 
can take a break if you like, or you can keep going. Switch stands at either one. Go ahead. Make sure you get your full extension on those punches. Make sure you're breathing. Sorry. All right, how do we feel with that part? Pretty good. Decent. Any problems? Oh, Anybody feel like you're struggling with something or? Yeah. Let me know. I'm here to help you. Is the roll, it's not, it doesn't have to be extreme, right? It's just a tiny little dip. Yeah, so like, it's, it's gonna be a little harder, you know, when you're by yourself, because you don't really know how fast this person is punching, how hard they're punching. So it's really up to you. But the main thing when you're solo is make sure that you're doing it smooth. It's, it's smooth to you. Like you feel like you're on balance, you're not losing control anywhere through the roll, and that you're able to set up your cross when you come up. So you don't wanna roll and feel off balance then you have to recover in between, or you come up and you're square. So this is where you get to really pay attention to the technique and make sure you're not off at any point. And then once you get that person in front of you, you're gonna feel a lot better. So just make sure that uh, you have a good base, good balance. So um, normally, or well, you hit me when I say like, uh, if you're boxing, you wanna make sure your stance is a little wider and then it's gonna make the roll a lot easier for you to duck under the strike. Um, if you, uh, so Korean, since you have the heavy bag, I want you to kind of like make a line from your belly button to the uh, back. And I want you to keep your head above that belly button line. So you shouldn't be ducking that low. So if you duck lower than that line, then you're taking a chance to get knee in the face. So you know, a certain level. So you got to think that uh, they're punching to where you are and not where you're going. So make sure you're not ducking too low. It's just a punch. So you don't want to get set up in the long run. Um, uh, Chelsea. And Sarge, you guys are partners, so it's the same thing. Now you have a partner swinging at you, so you just want to clear the arm. You don't have to get, like, crazy low, right? So as long as you clear the arm, you're good to go. Now, if you get hit on top of your head, then, you know, I need to go a little lower. But you shouldn't have to duck down that far. Right. Everybody good with that? Yep. All right, next piece. We're going to protect the body on the same side. So all three are going to be on your rear side first. So now we're going to make sure. So the thing I'm trying to do here, or I'll say the purpose of this type of combo, is to make sure that we're able to work defenses um, while we are striking. A lot of times I, I walk around a class or see students holding for each other, it's like no defense within the round. So I'm trying to do combinations where, uh, where you can strike, work on your counter striking, and just be more prepared on both sides. So now we're going to focus on catching to the body. So in this one, we're going to make sure that when we throw that last cross off the roll, so let's say I go from the roll. I roll, I come back with a cross, hook, cross, I make sure this hand comes back, and then I catch on the elbow, so we're going for a body shot this time. So again, I roll, cross, hook, cross, catch the body. And just like I said on that roll, uh, another issue I've seen uh, students run into is when they throw this last cross, they come back, but then they're square again. But the other thing is when they pull it back, they are square and they're not turned. So the uppercut is going to be more of a arm punch than them, uh, it was to uh, incorporate their legs and it twists into the strike. So just like on the uh, last one, I roll, and then the first cross, when I roll, I want to turn back. When I catch this uppercut, I should be over my rear leg. So now I can fire the uppercut right back. So we're going to shoot this uppercut from the same side. Okay, so normally in the house we do the uh, opposite side. This time we're going to the same side. So for the roll, I'm going to roll, cross, hook, cross, catch on the body. As you see my body's back. And then I'm ready to spring up with the uppercut, a lead hook, and then a cross. Everybody go with that one? Yep. Uppercut, lead hook, cross. Okay, so now, say it again. It was uppercut, lead hook, cross, right? Yes. So now I'm going to demonstrate with a partner. You guys can see uh, in the body. 
So I'm gonna do it off the roll so we can uh, kind of hurry up. So I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna leave up, I go under, as you see it, I switch back. And now I'm gonna come up with the uppercut, and then I turn for the hook, and then I finish with the cross. Okay, so rear uppercut, lead hook, rear straight. Everybody go with that? Yep. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Going to catch. Do you want to do it together? Now Chelsea, try to use your legs. So try to bend down. So when you catch that body shot, try to bend down. Like bend on the right side. Yeah. Catching the uh, body shot, you want to lean into it. So now, uh, so it's not the it's not the same lean as uh, as the pull. So okay. instead of going back away, we want to kind of go into the strike. So now okay. you want to kind of lean into. Uh, so if you're leaning to your right side, you want to lean to the outside of your right knee, the okay. front outside of your right knee. Okay. Right. So I want to take my body weight. To the punch. So when that punch is coming in, that's what I want to take it to. And then from there, I put all my weight on my leg and I like spring it up and to the strike. Right. So it's like you're you're able to stuff the punch, but then you also put yourself inside the punch. So now you have a lane to the face. You have a lane to the face. Rain, how are you doing? Good. I know. I was stepping too far back, and so then I couldn't connect with the upper part. So that, I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little tougher for you on the uh, bag because it's nothing to really stop you to let you know like how close you are or how far you are. But you just want to make sure that uh, your glove, you're able to like kind of slide up to the on the front side of the bag, you know, to where it's comfortable for you. So as long as you're not like reaching for it or you're stuck, like basically getting like your wrist and your uh, forearm on the bag, you're good to go. So you want to be in between those two. Okay, uh, Coach Ann, how you feeling over there? I just kept doing uppercuts during all of them instead of the cross o cross, but you know. Uppercuts <laughs> for all the uppercuts. <laughs> Coach Tracy, I just see your picture. I can't see you. But yeah, it's you're because good. I'm technically not working out, but I want to hang out with you guys. Okay, no problem. I appreciate it. Appreciate yeah. it. Totally normal. <laughs> yep. I just love the background picture. I love. <laughs> yep. Like, hey guys. Classic hey. Tracy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, everyone. So if we're all good with that one, now we're going to take it over to the lead side, okay? Lead side. So now the way we're going to uh, use or the way we're going to trans uh, 
transition over is going to be double jab, okay? Double jab. So basically, what this is going to be is maybe you're tired within the sparring round to fight, and you just want to get over, or maybe they're trying to attack you on your lead side now, all right? You see, the rear side is uh, too good, all right? You're too good uh, with the defenses on the rear side, so we're going to take, uh, take it over to your lead side. We're going to use a double jab to reset the fight, because maybe you can't move your feet. Maybe you're just like, oh, let's go hang out here. I'm going to use a double jab as a reset. So... Off the uppercut, the cross. Come on, hit me to the body. I block that. Uppercut, hook, cross, and here. We're, uh, if you have a partner, you're going to attack their far side arm now. So if you're uh, orthodox, you're going to go left and left. So I finish that last cross. From here, I'm going to go jab, jab. And now my partner is going to uh, throw a hook with the rear hand or the right hand this time. So I jab, jab. I throw a hook, I duck under, come back with the hook, cross, hook. Okay, hook, cross, hook is the return on this one. So all these punches, all these combinations are going to be three punch combos. So again, from the uh, eye shot, I block, uppercut, hook, cross, I'm going to roll. Sorry, jab, jab, you right, you right. Try to beat me up. <laughs> jab, jab, and then I roll, and then a hook, cross, hook. I was kind of uh, jumping the gun in my head. One thing I want to throw out on this one is when you're throwing your double jab, you got to make sure you're not committed. Just, just like earlier, we don't want to commit on that double jab. So when I throw this double jab, I want to kind of uh, draw them in with that like rear side. So I want to use uh, jabs to the point they feel like they can throw an overhand right or a rear hook. So when I do this, I'm going to slightly lean to my right. I'm gonna throw this, but I don't want to lean too far forward because I got to be able to like duck under the strike. I don't want to be too heavy to uh, to a point I can't duck. So here we're gonna go jab, jab, and then you see my head is still on the center. Jab, jab, kind of like reaching out for it. So you just kind of like come on, take me look that side. So now we we'll go from the top. I'm gonna throw my jab. This one's on the same side. My partner throws it jab. I pull. Come back to the cross, hook, cross. I roll, cross, hook, cross, body shot, next, uppercut, hook, cross, jab, jab. I roll, hook, cross, hook. Everybody good with that? Yeah, we'll see. All right, <laughs> let's get it done. First part, you're up. So, the same side, the first jab. Are you, oh, you want to do it all the way through? Yeah. Okay. Double jab, cross. Sits. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure you're extending. At no point you should overextend on the strike or on the lean. Just make sure you're comfortable the whole time. Not yet. <laughs> I 
right, time. Now, think about this one. Um, uh, it it never gives you a chance to like really be super comfortable to where you like you know you stop at any point. So that helps you do that, but at the same time, as a pad holder. You don't want to kind of just be like sitting there just waiting for strikes to come at you. So you want to be active too, okay? So uh, think about this drill is going to be a two-way street. Like uh, both, the, pretty much both parties are working on their uh, counter strikes or like setups. No, one is more so taking all the combinations, but you know, works out on both sides. So let's go over, uh, the thing about the double jab. If you throw this double jab, uh, just like I said earlier, you don't want to commit. So you don't want to be super heavy if you're going to move into it. So basically, it should be just a rock. So if you're going to put any extra weight into it, it should be like a rock forward, rock forward. Okay? So something that uh, makes them think that you're committed or that you're closer than, uh, than you actually are. So just make sure that you're hanging out. So like I said, it's pretty much something like, you know, what you're going to do. You're going to hit me. It's like a tease. You're going to hit me. And then once they throw that strike or they try to knock your head off, you have more time to move out of the way. Now, with that being said, this is why, um, basically, the way you take that uppercut or you block on the uppercut and then the hook to the body is how you want to kind of lean to the jab. So I'm going to take my head offline. I'm leaning over my right knee. So now I have a little more time to dodge that hook or to dodge the overhand. Okay? So just keep that in mind. So pull yourself over to your rear side just a little bit. So you kind of hang out to the side. And then I can roll under that strike. Okay? So now if you're staying on the center line with it, you're most likely are going to duck, and then this is where you get clipped over top of your head, or maybe on the side of your head. So make sure you're outside, you have a little more time to duck. Now, this also gives you a chance to know how low you need to go. Okay, and then duck under, and come back with a hook, cross, clap. Everybody go with that? Facebook on, mute it so that there isn't feedback. I think you got to mute. Anyone has any questions? No. Good. All right. Now, this will be the last part. Now, I, I do have uh, a little couple extra pieces um, on this, but I wanted to make sure we got through it, so I kind of stopped it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. It's not too much more. But I just want to uh, squeeze in the last piece, and then we're going to uh, do the full combo over and over and over again. Kind of program it, work on the uh, head movement, and then the better you get, the faster you can go. Sorry, I think there's some feedback. I can't hear. Hey, I think I think whoever can be on mute. Okay, that's there we go. Thanks. Everybody muted. Is everybody, can everybody hear me clear now? Just give me a thumbs up. There you go. All right, all right. All right. So I'll repeat that just in case. So what I was saying is, uh, I have another piece to this. But I wanted to make sure we got through it, and I wanted to make sure we also got some leg work in. Um, it's not going to be strikes, but we're just going to throw in squats in between uh, the rounds. Okay? <laughs> She's shaking her head. <laughs> we got to get the legs. We got to get the legs. Um, so um, if everybody enjoys the combo, I will uh, throw out the other piece to it. Um, it's just making sure everything's even and that you get to uh, another option of resetting. All right? So the way we're going to end is kind of you want to be in front of your opponent, but of course you can move your feet. Or um, you can reset with the jabs. But uh, we're going to reset with the hook right now. Um, the other part is with the other end, you can make this a continuation combination. All right? So you can keep going. Keep going. Uh, but like I said, uh, I'll get your feedback at the end, and we'll go from there. So the last part is catching on the body on your lead side. So you're going to finish with the uppercut, with the lead hand, across, and then the lead hook. So now, I'm going to go off of the roll. So I'm going to throw that double jab. I'm going to roll, hook, cross, hook. I'm probably going to throw the rear hand to the body. I'm going to come back with the upper back, cross, and hook. Now, when you catch that body shot, just like I said on the other side, I want to lean forward to stuff the front. Right here is an opening. I come with the upper back, a cross, and then a hook. Okay? So I try not to uh, overcommit on any one of these strikes. And another thing I like to do is, when I throw this uppercut, I sail here. And now I'm here in a tight space. I can throw my cross. And then I pick up on 
on the hook to reset that. Okay? So, on the top, then we'll go. I'm going to throw my jab. I'm going to pull. Cross to the cross. The roll. Cross to the cross. Put your body. Up and touch the cross. Jab, jab. Roll. Hook, cross, hook. Body. Up and touch cross. Hook. And finish it off. Everyone good with that? All good, all good. All right, let's do it. First part here on. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> uh, where you, you get stuck at? Where you get stuck? Oh, the last one? Those are so I'll go for the top. I'll go for the top and then you can kind of put the pieces together. So we got we got the jab. Okay, we got the jab. And then we pull. And then we got cross across. And then we roll on that side. Cross across. Then we catch the body shot on the rear side. Yep, and then uppercut with the rear hand, and then a hook, and then a cross. Okay, now from here, you're gonna throw your double jab. And now you're gonna roll on your lead side. Come back with the hook, cross, hook. And then you're gonna catch on the body on your lead side. Yep, and then throw an uppercut, a cross, and then a, uh, I'm mean, sorry, hook and a cross. Hook and a cross. No, that was right, cross and a hook. Myself. Look at me. I'm sorry. I've been out of the game too long. Look at me. I'm like sweating. It's craziness. Thank you. But at the end, at the end, it's the uh, it's uppercut and then a cross in the hook. So you're going to finish with your lead hook. And now, uh, while we're on that, another thing I want to throw out there is that uh, normally we always finish with like a rear hand, always a rear hand. But uh, another thing you can do with the lead hook is use it to stop and reset. So if you throw a hook and stop at the center, you'll pause back in your uh, natural stance. So that's another way to reset. All right, so I'm gonna give uh, everyone a chance to uh, get water if you need water, and then we're gonna uh, put the combination together or use the whole combination and add squats in between. So it's gonna be a good time, it's gonna be a good time. So if you need water, get your water now. If you would like to continue, please continue. But this is a water break, this is your chance, this is your chance. I like how Chelsea's just like still practicing. <laughs> I'm not even like dressed. <laughs> I mean, like I'm wearing clothes, so like just clearly listening to stuff that Coach Darnell is saying. <laughs> That. 
partner drills all day. They're going to be doing it, like, all night watching. <laughs> I don't want to You should stop. just leave the Zoom room open. <laughs> we'll just hop in <laughs> and out. Just do your own thing. <laughs> Coach Dan, how you feeling? Are you, are you nice and warm now? Yep. I was on mute and far away from my computer, so I had to, you know, <laughs> crawl my way forward. Is there a, you need, like, a remote for this. So if you're, like, doing anything, like, active, you can, like, hit unmute or mute. Or a voice control. It should absolutely be oh, voice control. Yeah. Get some uh, Alexa thing going. Yeah. But she doesn't like Alexa. You know what I'm saying? She said, uh. She's uh, always like, listening. It's a real yeah, problem. Yeah. <laughs> Big brother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like that I can't really hear her. I definitely can't see her. She's just like kind of there. This is in the shadows. She's like trying to hide out. I don't know why. She's so scared. <laughs> we miss you, Coach Trina. I'm right here. <laughs> You're talking to me. You need to tell her. <laughs> you make me look crazy. You're probably like, yo, what are you talking to me? Right here. <laughs> <laughs> you take up the whole screen. Oh, oh. I know a fat thing. You said I take up the whole screen. So, you know, it's cool. It's all the extra hair you have right now. <laughs> I know, I, uh, I'm in like the same boat as uh, Coach Lewis. So I think uh, this weekend will be, I'll see how far I can get with it uh, growing out. You know, I'm off my Chia Pet status. I'll see how far I can get by this weekend. Then I'm going to chop it all off. I'm sorry, I Coach Sarge. I, I would be with you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chop it off, though. I was trying to support the barbers, you know. I didn't notice it <laughs> until this week. Like last week, I didn't even notice your hair at all. But this week, I'm like, man. I, I normally have I normally have the uh, background on Zoom, so it kind of uh, hides it out. You know, it's like dark, so I cheated. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so if you're all set, we're gonna put it all together. So uh, we're gonna save the squats until after your partner goes. So um, if you are solo, you get a break in between, um, unless you want to switch your stance and continue. Um, Kelsey Sarge, you guys can uh, go all the way through. Both parties are gonna go, and then you're gonna squat. Okay, so it's gonna be a good time. So the minute time. or every time you do a combo, we squat. Uh, every third minute. Okay, got it. <laughs> every third minute. <laughs> All right, let's go for it. Full combo. Full combo. All the way So, so uh, you guys know, I just put uh, Coach Trina on the spot. So she is just getting this combination within the hour. So, you know, don't hate us too much. 
I assumed every time you messed up, it was your fault. <laughs> Just because I put her on the spot, I'll take that. I'll take that. I should have I uh, did a pre-practice. You know? That's my fault. I'll take it. Almost there. All right, back to the combo. Back to the combo. Where's my combo in it? Make sure you're breathing. Get your extension. We've got 15 seconds before we squat.
Last set, squats. Last set. Let's jump. Let's jump. Let's jump. Last set. Make it count. Ski to the floor. Ski. How about you guys? My calves, oh man, paint up, see? Calves on fire. Get down right. All right, how's it going? How's it going? Good, good, good. Any questions, concerns, problems you may have ran into? Try to make sure we got a decent amount of reps to put everything together and uh, have you kind of like flow with it. So, um, how about, uh, how about I do the, Longer version, 
uh, before we actually finish, finish, and then you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right, real quick. All right, so did everybody see me good? Everybody good? Yep. Right. So the thing that we uh, took out is one is the catch for your lead side. So basically, what I wanted to do is make sure it's uh, three defensive combos on your rear side, three defensive combos on your lead side. Then the reset is another thing. The reset will allow you to keep going with the combination. So, lead part, we got the jab, dodge it, pull, cross, over, cross. Whoa, cross up, cross, body shot, drop up, up, cross, you jab, jab. Now, this one, we'll make sure that our partner gets their hand back to the face. So, I'm going to put my rear foot to the head first. Now, what you have to do is stuff that punch. You're going to lean into the punch and set up the lead hook, cross, hook, then we roll. Hook, cross, hook, body shot, drop up, 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 cross, and then you triple jab. And then from there, on that last jab, you'll be able to reset the combination. So, but one, uh, one of the things that will make it easier to reset is not throwing a fast triple jab at the end. So you want to go one, two, three, right? Because then your partner might not be able to catch it. So you'll go throw one, two, jab, and that's the one you want to pull on. So a quick one, two, then jab, and then you get back to the combo. If that makes sense. Okay, so I'll do that nice and slow. Now, you can do it that way, or you can switch it to the rear hand. That'll fully make a reset. So again, you have the double, and then one. Okay, so one, two, one. And now, if you, you can get your partner to hold on the opposite side, that'll make it even easier for them to remember. So it'll be one, two on the left hand, and then the last one comes to the right, and then they're free to throw back at you. Okay. So if you enjoyed that, I will uh, either do it Again, in the beginning video uh, next week, uh, or in the chat, I will say. And uh, if you would like, let me know. I can do a video of the whole combo so you guys can like always go back to it. Um, of course, you'll have this, but uh, I don't want you to have to like skim through everything. So I can make a combo video just for that, if you like that. Any questions, concerns, I like the hatred, combo idea. You know, is, is it all love? <laughs> <laughs> I tell, I tell everyone, uh, at least you guys get to like see me get punished. You know, I, I punish you guys in like classes so many times. It's like, you know, you get to see me all sweaty and like breathing hard and tired, right? Uh, good news is you guys got the uh, Corona bonus. You know, I'm like all fat now. It's like sucks. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're all out of shape, bonus. I'm pretty bad though. I'm pretty bad. I gotta, gotta jump in. Um, Do my hard. running plan. I hate running. Actually, I actually tried to run. I told you I almost died. Yeah, it was bad. It was cool. Start slow. It was, yeah, yeah. And you know, uh, we talked about hey, we talked about it. Um, uh. but then we were uh, you know doing the chat and uh, uh, when you told me about the program that you were doing, I'm like yeah, that's that sounds like an old man program. I need to do that one where it has oh, you yeah. jog and walk, jog and walk. Yeah, I need to start there. I need to start yep. there. Old man Intervals. Program. Start out slow. <laughs> Uh, Katrina, uh, Karina, Karina, uh, how you feel? How'd it go? Good, good. It's, um, it was a lot of fun. This thing seems to lean. It's like a loud, leaning tower. Oh, well. <laughs> like, is it like in a stand on the ground? Is that how it works? It's like a, it's sand in the bottom, but it's not as wide. So it, it keeps like leaning one way. So see that. Huh. So I try to like sit, push it back, but it like one hit, it's back to me. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. It's just too strong. You know, you got so much power over there, can't handle it. <laughs> well, I don't. Chelsea, sorry. How'd it go? As you guys do. Time. Um, the one thing I want to throw out there is, uh, I guess, uh, if you have a partner, one of the issues, especially if you train inside or it with you know in a school and you do the uh, curriculum, 
um, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna be ready to hold on the opposite side. So you got to get used to holding on the same side for some of these strikes. Uh, the thing that you can do that will help you or kind of speed up the switch is to go along with them. Okay, so like when you're going for that body shot, you're gonna lean as you go for the shot and hold hold up your opposite hand so it's already there, ready to go. So now you have to think about you know picking anything up or anything like that. So if I'm attacking my partner's rear side in the beginning. I lean over and my hand is already open. So now they hit my hand and I kind of go with that. So they hit my hand, they're coming up, I come up, and that means the other strikes are gonna come along with it. Same thing on the opposite side. If I lean over, I hit to this side, my lead hand is ready to, uh, to hold, and then they hit me with the uppercut there, I pick up, I got cross and the hook, and all that good stuff. So that'll help you kind of speed up the switch. Everyone good? All right, I appreciate you uh, all for uh, joining me. Um, like I said, uh, well, I always say, um, please feel comfortable enough to like, uh, hit me up, Facebook Messenger, Instagram, um, email darnell at betaacademy.com. If you want to get in contact with me, uh, any questions, I'm open. I don't have anything to do right now. Talk to me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, stay safe. Um, until next time. You guys, take it easy. Thank you. Thank you, y'all. Lewis has been there the whole time. Yes. No, I just got up. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Yo, in the shadows. <laughs> like a stick. <laughs> I just got in for a second, you know what I'm saying? I, I heard it was ending, so I jumped in. <laughs> come back, come back, come back. I'll take that jersey, bro. All right, son. All right, we want a feast. Peace, y'all. Thank you. Thank you.